Oh, greetings, Leo, and welcome uh, to my reading, uh, Ingrid's Insights. And uh, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And my name is Ingrid, and I'll be doing your reading for uh, the week of uh, September 16th through the 23rd. And this is what's going on, where you're standing your ground, you're having valor. There's a lot of uh, energy and competition uh, coming, but you've stood your ground. You've got this platform. You've got a lot of emotions around you, but also fire. And you're a fire sign, so you're standing firm, believing in yourself. Um, and there's movement and energy coming towards you. So you're going from the seven to the eight. So there is a, a force uh, quickly, a lot of communication coming in. And whatever the communication is going to give you the green light to keep standing your ground. And it's coming because you've maybe been feeling in isolation or maybe had to be isolated for the uh, down at the recent um, root of this situation. And you're looking, and in the recent past, you had determination. You used your mind, that air energy of the Knight of Swords to uh, look to the, get the truth, to study, to get information, to get the facts, uh, to talk about something. And uh, that is going to help you uh, with uh, this sense of getting out of se any kind of self-sabotage. Um, because you're determined to, and you have valor, and you have movement, so you're going to move toward this um, with strength, with courage. Um, you've got all the strength that the crown, the higher powers are giving you of this to get through this, uh, to get out of this isolation, to not let others interfere with you. You're not in prison. You can set yourself free with this energy of movement and strength and self-understanding. Um, and the wheel of fortune is turning uh, this week for you uh, in a, a positive way. Uh, good luck, optimism, expansion. And with the movement and the wheel, you got uh, this happening fast. You're getting out of this isolation quickly. Um, and you're going to have to be patient and take time uh, Maybe you have to keep being, um, bringing that valor to this balancing act, to uh, healing emotionally, whatever you've had to stand up for because uh, someone in your environment or the environment itself is starting over, a new beginning, a taking a leap of faith uh, toward this uh, new adventure. And uh, you're... Uh, Hope and fear is the five of cups that uh, whatever you're uh, worrying about with temperance, with blending, that there is going to be with this new beginning uh, from your environment, something uh, that is going to be uh, maybe uh, totally jumping out towards something new. Uh, maybe that is going to bring some disappointment, some feeling of lack, um, a loss. Of reflecting on what was spilt. That could be your hope and your fear, uh, but the advice is uh, to use your Queen of Cups, well, to feel deeply about this and to know you've got a lot of intuition uh, to uh, see and feel deeply uh, for whatever it is you're alchemizing within yourself that you've stood up for and you're blending and healing. And uh, uh, because you've been dedicated to this work and it will be successful, whatever you're doing, because you've got the wheel of fortune uh, going toward whatever this work you've dedicated yourself and been very determined with determination uh, and valor. So you are working so hard uh, toward that divine timing uh, and you have the strength you need to move forward with communication that has to be uh, had uh, maybe about uh, what you're alchemizing and healing and blending. Um, and the environment is saying, well, I'm ready for a new beginning. Um, because maybe you uh, felt very disappointed uh, in the situation, um, feeling the lack, the loss, the regret. And 
You're gonna use your intuition though to heal this and all the strength you have uh, and to feel deeply and to move quickly toward that uh, this week and uh, your intuition to really trust in that. And the angels want you to know that um, you're, it's time to cut the cord. Well, that's what, uh, when you have this new beginning, uh, that means that you're starting zero, that's fresh, uh, leaving behind this disappointment. And that's coming because you are uh, cutting the cord on anything that was in the past made you regret or feel lack or loss. And uh, you have a guardian angel over this time as you cut the cord. Uh, and you're going to expect miracles because you've got that guardian angel. So uh, this week, expect miracles. And it's coming in quickly with this um, a positive wheel of fortune turning. And uh, that's what I have for you, uh, Leo. I hope this resonates. Uh, and if it does, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear how you are expecting miracles this week after you cut the cord with the guardian angel overseeing this. And uh, that's what I have in sending you so much love, Leo. And please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And see you next time and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.